Hi, today I will show you how to use the GitLab CI CD. Let's do it from the scratch. First, you have to sign into the GitLab, then create a new blank project. I'm giving name GitLab CI CD, then create this project. First, I'm going to clone this project. That clone documentation for this will be available in the GitLab page. Select this tab. This is an example file that we are going to create. So let's start. I will explain this content later. So let's create a file name called GitLab CA.YML. So let's start by creating the stages. First we have to define the stages. You can define any any number of stages. I'm creating two stages. Next build and next one is production. Okay, on the next next the steps we can define the runners. Sorry, we can define the jobs. We can give any name for this job. I'm giving job one. First, we have to specify the stage. I'm giving us build. That means this job is on this build stage. Then script. Uh, script. This script is an array. We can pass any number of commands here. Let's first we can try echo command echo. I am in job one. Okay, let's create another job. Job two. Let's give this stage as production. Let's add a script. I am in job 2. Let's see in the GitLab. For that, you, you can commit this code. Git add. Git commit. Git push. You can see the pipeline here on this CACD tab pipeline. This will start running. Let's see job one. This job one is the name that we give here. Let's see. This is the job one runner. So this is our core command that we gave on this job one. That one is executed. So let's see the job two. Job two. This one is also executed. Now I will explain these terminologies. First we can start with the stages. We created two stages here, build and production. I will show it in the GitLab. These are the stages that we created there. Two stages, one build 
and production we can create any number of stages okay so next this job this is the job that we created there next one is job this job one we described here a stage is built let's see in the GitLab these are the stages this one is the build stage in that build stage we can see this job one similarly this job two on this production stage let's see this on the production stage the script command will execute that on that runner let's add more stages and more jobs here so I'm going to add a new stage here test okay let's add two jobs job 3 stage test Let's add another job, job four stage test script echo hello. Let's commit this git add git commit. This pipeline will automatically trigger when we push this code. So three stages has been initialized. This one is build stage, production stage, and test stage. Let's see the job three and four on this test stage and this production. These are running. Let's see. Hi, I'm in first. There are more options that you can add on this YML file that's available in this documentation page. You can refer to this. It's very simple.